Hi. So let's talk about you deploying a Plotly Dash application. So maybe you've just built one for the first time, or maybe you just made an MVP, um, and you've got it running locally on your computer, but you need a place to put uh, host it on the web. So you need to deploy it somewhere so that uh, you can view it from a URL, you can give the URL to other people, uh, clients, friends, whoever, uh, just check it out. So there's plenty of hosting companies out there and this is gonna be for uh, Python Anywhere, which is a free option for you to be able to uh, deploy your Dash application. So uh, Python Anywhere has been around for a while. This, it's actually the very first place where I deployed uh, my stuff, my first Dash application. So they are a classic and um, you can get an, a, a beginner account that gives you plenty of space and plenty of room to just, just launch and have a very basic uh, application and just show uh, what's going on from the web. All right, so let's dive into that. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to, um, so I'm gonna make a couple assumptions. One, you have a Dash application. Two, that you've been running that Dash application from a local environment, local Python environment. If you have not, you need to, I mean, this is not a tutorial on environments. So you can, you know, do research on setting up Python environments, I mean, virtual, you know, like virtual N or ENV or even Conda. Um, so yeah. And then also that, uh, you have a GitHub account and you are, you have this code on GitHub. So, cause we'll need all three of those things to make this work. All right. One of the first things you'll need to do is, uh, reconfigure your application to be able to deploy it. One of the biggest things is, so this is a, a very, very, like the simplest application that you could have for Dash to be able to deploy it. So this is just based on one of the Dash tutorials that I pulled out, some of the code. One of the bigger things though, and this is probably the biggest modification that you'll need to make is almost all of the Dash applications have this at the bo bottom, which is, it fires up the development server so that you can run it locally. Um, you need to pull this out into a separate file. So I really recommend pulling that out into a, I name mine, uh, whiskey dev. Um, so that just starts a WSGI uh, server. Again, I'm not gonna super go into that. You can Google it or there's links in the description um, on the write-up that I did for this. So yeah, so you, you move this code into here. And then I also, uh, so the application lives in this app file. So basically this is just importing that in and then running the development server. Okay. The reason you do this is because if you deploy with that in here, then you're basically, you're gonna be hitting that server as well. And it's just, it's, it's overlap, it's not secure. Um, just, just take it out. It, it causes some other, I've seen, um, with clients that it causes some other, uh, bad stuff where just stuff glitches or doesn't display. Right. So just pull that out. And then what you'll do is you'll use this file to run it locally. Um, and then when we deploy this to Python anywhere, like this basically gets ignored and we're going to set up another whiskey file to, um, run the dash application um, on Python anywhere. Okay. So now that you've got that, you need a need to make sure that, oh, sorry. You'll also need a requirements.txt account, requirements.txt. Um, so from your, uh, from your locally, uh, to set that sub, you can just run uh, pip freeze, uh, right arrow uh, requirements.txt. Um, again, see like all this stuff is in a write-up. So if you need specifics, please go check that out. Okay, so now we need to set up a Dash application. So we need to set up an account. So there's a beginner account that you can do that is free. Uh, you don't even need to enter a credit card. So just go, uh, it's email, username, and password. 
it'll shoot you an email and then you just need to confirm that and then you'll be in. So I've already, already created an account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in. Then from our dashboard, you'll need to go ahead and set up a, um, from the batch console, you'll need to go and set up the repository. So you're gonna go and clone that. So it's really helpful if this is a public repository, because you can just grab this here, the HTTPS. You want to use SSH, you can. Uh, I'm not going to cover doing that. You can, there's various resources on how to do that. All right, from our bash console, we're going to do git clone. Boom. All right, and we are all set. And then Okay, so now that we've got all of that on there, so you, you need to take a look. You'll need to remember. So I'm just going to open a new window. So now, yeah, so our code lives here now. So this is under files. So this is the path for this is home, Peter Haas, deploy, plotly dash. You'll need to remember that. I'm just going to keep this window open. Okay, so you'll need to set up a virtual directory. To run your application so mk virtual env and name it and specify the python version sorry i'm just looking at my notes Okay, you'll need to set up a virtual environment to run your application. And we're gonna name it uh, the same as You'll need to specify the Python version. You can use whatever version you want. I'm using 10, you can do nine, eight, whatever you want. Great. Okay, so that's set up. So if you notice, uh, the prompt switched from just that to now, you know that it's so it activated the environment when after it created it. So here's the tip: um, you you'll need the anytime you're working on this within Python anywhere, you'll need to have it on. So to turn it off for whatever reason, if you work on something else, you know if you have different, if you add more apps, if whatever. Switch environments, it's just deactivate. Oops. I wonder if I could do the hotkey for that, but I can't. There we go. Okay. So it's now it's deactivated and then you want to reactivate it, it is. Okay. All right, you'll need to switch into your directory where all your files are so you can access the requirements txt file and then go ahead and you're gonna pip install from requirements to get all your packages loaded.
All right, this is going to take a minute, uh, more than a minute, more several, several minutes. So it's, it's actually a bit slow. Um, so you can go ahead and we're going to move on and then we'll come back to make sure it did all the things. All right, so now you can go ahead and configure your application. So go to web, go to add a new web app. Web app, okay, so this is where it's going to live. Next, you can do a manual configuration using Python 3.10. Boom, so now it's going to go ahead and create the application for us. Great. Okay, so go ahead and we'll speci specify the virtual ENV that we just set up. So if you remember, it was, yeah, just grab the name. Hit the check marks, check mark, it should populate to the full path. All right, then you'll need to set up your that other whiskey file. So go ahead and click on that. So they stick a bunch of boilerplate in here to cover. So this is when they when they set up the web application, it automatically generates a bunch of boilerplate. So go ahead and just comment all of that. Make sure everything's commented out. Um, and then at the very end. You'll need to add the code, the, the whiskey code that will actually fire up the server, your deployment server. Um, I am going to use, I'll just go to type it. I don't think I have it pulled up anywhere. Oh, actually, so I ended up pulling from, they had, so uh, Python Anywhere has a dashing demo site where that has their own demo app that they created for themselves, which is one of the things I use to make up this tutorial. So I just grabbed the code from there. Dump it in here. And then you just need to make sure that you change stuff. So you need to change the uh, project directory. So if you remember, so it's Peter, so it's Peter Haas for me. And then deploy plotly dash. Cool. And then the import statement needs to be correct. So oops, I think I got all. You need, all, you need to copy and paste all of the code for it to work. All right, so they're importing from a app called Dashing Demo. That's the name of the, that's the, name of the uh, file. Uh, I, mine is just called app, so I just need to change that so the import statement works. There you go. All right, hit save. Great, let's go back to Python Anywhere, to our file section, sorry, the web section. We're done. No, we're not done. So we'll wait on that. I'm gonna hit the pause button, we'll wait on that. Okay, so our Library is finished installing. So now from, you can, should be able to access it now. Boom, yay, here's our application and it works and it's running, yay. Cool. Okay, uh, a couple extra features on here that you might find helpful on for Python Anywhere, uh, there is uh, you can do, it'll, it'll set you up with an HTTPS certificate. Um, and then you can also, you can force that HTTPS. And then you also can actually set up password protection if you would like to password protect your site so people can't access it except for whoever you tell. 
Um, it, especially helpful if you're, you know, this is for a client or something, or, you know, it's somewhat private or, or whatever. So you can use that. Uh, if you end up deleting this for whatever reason, um, I would also recommend uh, deleting the, so it, that'll delete the web application, but then it doesn't delete the files. So you'll need to delete the files and then you will also need to go in and delete the virtual environment. So, yep. All right. Uh, good stuff. Have fun with this and uh, good luck.